Well, uh, <laughs> but th this is a good problem to have. There is a late night after a great win like that. Uh, yes. Let's just talk about Yannick first Agreed. because he was amazing. That's one of the best performances I've ever seen a goalkeeper. You've been around the sport a long time. Just rate that performance for what Yannick did for you. Uh, I've, I've, I've never seen a goalkeeper perform at that level before. That was an incredible performance from him. Um, I was a goalkeeper many, many years ago. Uh, I coached goalkeepers. Uh, that was before I became a head coach. I coached at Clemson. I coached at UNC, went to Final Fours, won national championship, won an ACC championship, um, had All-American goalkeepers. Uh, I cannot recall another performance at that level. It was... Um, it was uh, phenomenal, and and the 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 most important um, factor in us winning that game was Jan Jan's performance. A few moments ago, he said to us though that this is a he hopes wake up call for the team that it's going to need to perform yeah. than it did, especially in the first half play if you're going to be uh, tall sunset a hundred percent um we we were not our usual selves in terms of aggression like the desire to get on the ball um the confidence to to pass the ball and possess the ball um for whatever reason tonight was uh was a bit of a nervous performance and um you know i think you you can only play this game with successfully in, in the way that we want to play it. If, if you have the right mentality, the desire to, to get on the ball, the bravery to do it. Um, and, uh, and, and today was, uh, was not uh, a fantastic performance on that side. That's, that's for certain, but in, in the end, we survive, we advance, um, we get, we get to play again on Saturday, we get an opportunity to, to change the performance. Uh, obviously, the result is what we wanted, but but I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that this group is going to look back at that and say, okay, we're not we're we're not going to replicate that. We're 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 going to go and we're gonna we're gonna come ready to play. You were do one of these though against them though. I mean, because you've been on the other side of this where you've maybe outplayed them and not gotten the result you thought you should have gotten. So maybe Agreed. things even it out a little bit here and, and Yannick gave you that opportunity and you played better in the second half. Did you sense that a little better after the first half? I think you only had three shots. You got it much more aggressive in the second half. Yeah. You know, I think SMU did a really good job. I think credit has to be given to them and their, their game plan, how they approach the game. Uh, first half, they really pressed us. They made, uh, they made it difficult for us to get a rhythm. We, we did not get a rhythm. Um, it disrupted us. And then I do think in the second half, we started to get our grip back on the game to, to some degree, uh, still wasn't to the degree I, I think we're capable of. Um, I, I know we're capable of far better. I know come Saturday we'll produce better. Um, but, but we did, um, you know, obviously the goal from, from Luca, you know, where we, where we played the ball into Gino was a nice goal. We had a couple other good chances, um so you know but but a lot a lot to reflect on and improve upon before saturday pks can be nerve-wracking right uh but yeah. when you see Gino step up there you and the team have a confidence in him in that moment oh he absolutely smashed it i i, I thought um i thought we took several really brave pks um you know, when you, when you're willing to put the ball up in the top corner where no goalkeeper can get it, but, but that's also a bit risky, uh, because that's where you're more likely to miss. If you go for that, that top corner, it's much more difficult than rolling it on the ground, but, um, yeah, really, really impressive to, you know, Gino to step up, take that fifth kick and bury it. Did it surprise you the change in goalie for the PKs? I've I've seen it before. Uh, you know, oftentimes uh, they they have a goalkeeper that that is that is maybe really good on penalties and and uh, you know this has happened at the highest level too. The World Cups and European Cups. I want to say the Dutch national team 
did this uh, a few years back. I don't remember if it was a World Cup or European Cup where they they made a switch and the goalkeeper they switched to was unbelievable at PKs and they and they won that PK shootout because of it. So uh, I've, I've seen it before. Um, uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, that we ultimately ended up winning that shootout, though. Is there a sense of relief to could could you know the fact SMU to big match it's postseason some of these guys this is their first experience of that uh, do you think nerves played a role in maybe the way you played especially early on yeah I think um, it it looked that way um, you know I think I think we had a I think we had a plan coming in and it didn't go uh, uh, it didn't go well on and, and we kind of went away from our plan as well. And I think nerves also play into that. I think when you're very calm and very composed and, and um, very p- plugged into the game, then you, you're able to stick with your plan. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think nerves played a part, but hopefully, I mean, the, the, the big thing is we've, we've survived it. You know, there's, there's this opportunity for us to respond and change our performance and change our mentality towards towards our performance for Saturday. And that's that's 100% what we'll do. You got the better of SMU this season, and it, it has only yeah. intensified that rivalry, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that um, we have we have met SMU in so many important games where where there's something on the line and um, you, I, I think actually through that in these last three years, it, it's built a lot of respect between between the two teams. And uh, you know, even even at the end when players were were coming over and um, and and just kind of giving giving hugs, like they're they're more familiar than than when they play other teams because of how often we play them. But what, one of their seniors came down at the end of the game and as disappointed as they are. Uh, just wanted to say how much he's enjoyed these games. And, and he, he was here for two years. He said, coach, I, I really appreciate these games. They've been such, they've been so exciting. They've been so competitive, um, you know, and, and then he wished us luck. And, and I think that that says something that there's this level of respect between these two programs and the players and the coaches um, that as competitive as, as it is when, when the game is over, how how the players interact. I, I was really um really impressed with that from from SMU as well and 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 like to see that from our guys. Fitting for the league, your match in SMU goes to PKs, Tulsa and Tempo goes to PKs. Yeah. Uh, it shows crazy. how evenly now you and Tulsa have a quick turnaround. This is the first time this year you're both playing on a day's rest. You know, all year long you've been playing, you know, one week, uh one match a week. How big of a factor yeah. is that going to be with this quick turnaround with lengthy matches and uh, you know, how much you're going to de- depend on your depth here? Yeah, it's always that, that that's always a big factor. Um, our main focus now is to recover, to, to, to get food in these guys, to, um, to get them back uh, to the best we can and, uh, and to be ready for Saturday. Um, so we're going to do everything in our power to to make sure that that we do that, um, and we're also going to have to go deeper, and and more and more players are gonna are gonna end up being a part of the game on Saturday. That's that's the absolute reality of this 48 hour turnaround. Um, but the the good thing is we have we have a depth in our team where I think we're going to get some great performances from from some players come Saturday as well who who maybe didn't feature tonight. Schedule shows three losses this season, two of which are to Tulsa. How informative are those games in your preparation for Saturday? You're a different team on a roll now, but in some ways, right? So are they. Yeah, I mean, they're they're an excellent team. I, I actually thought the two games in which we played against them, we had, we had good performances. Um, and I even thought that second game, our performance was was very good. Uh, on a lot of different aspects, uh, but they're dangerous, and uh, they 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 have an ability to score goals. They have the you know Meinhart, who's the player of the year in the conference, is a very tricky um, and dangerous forward, and so 
you know, he's, he's a big factor in, in their attack. Um, there are obviously other players that are important as well, but, um, you know, we, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, we've, we've learned now, uh, how, how they play and, uh, you know, my, my hope is that we'll adjust well to it going into this next game. Thank you, coach.